It's story time, and today we're going to read a story from the Five Little Monkeys Storybook Treasury, written by Eileen Cristolo. This one is called Five Little Monkeys Wash the Car. The five little monkeys and mama can never drive far in the rickety rattle trap wreck of a car. I've had it, says mama. Let's sell this old heat. She makes a big sign that says, car for sale, cheap. When mama goes in, there's some work I should do. Okay, said the monkeys, we have work too. The car is so icky, so sticky and slimy. How can we sell an old car that's so grimy? I know, says one little monkey. So two little monkeys spray with a hose while three little monkeys scrub the car till it glows. But the car is still rusty, it stinks. Oh, pity you, no one will buy it. What can we do? I know, says one little monkey. Then four little monkeys find paint in the shed, blue, yellow, and green, purple, pink, and bright red. They paint the old car with designs all around while one little monkey sprays perfume he found. The five little monkeys sit down and wait, but no one comes by and it's getting late. The car looks terrific and it smells so good too. Maybe no one can see it here. What should we do? I know, says one little monkey. So three little monkeys start pushing the car. The monkey who's steering can't see very far. Then one little monkey shouts, park it right here. Wait, it's really too fast. Can't you stop? Can't you steer? The monkeys who's steering can't reach the brake. The car rolls downhill to the brown swampy lake. Well, now we're in trouble. We're stuck in this goo. We'll never get out. Oh, what can we do? We know, rumbles a voice from the swamp. The crocodiles, five little monkeys all shout. One crocodile says, we'll help you get out. More crocodiles rise from the wet swampy goo. We'll push this old car, but you must push too. The monkeys all quake. What they say isn't true. They'll eat us for supper. Oh, what can we do? I know, says one little monkey. Oh, crocodile, she calls out. I heard you were strong, but if you need our help, I must have heard wrong. We're strong, roared the crocs. We're the strongest by far, and we can push anything, even a car. So they puff and they pant till they look very ill, but they push the old car to the top of the hill. Then one little monkey whispers, we're still in a stew. If they don't go home now, what can we do? I know, says one little monkey. Poor Croc, said the monkeys. How tired you are. You'll never walk home. What you need is a car. The crocodiles buy it. They pay with a check, then climb right inside. We could use this old wreck. The monkeys all run to tell Mama their tale. You might have been eaten. She's turning quite pale. You know, said the monkey, we're lucky it's true. But we did sell the car. Can we buy one that's new? The five little monkeys and Mama go shop for a fancy new car with a convertible top. And the crocodiles, they really like their old heat. It's such a fine car for a long summer's sleep. <laughs>